Hi everyone, I'm going to do a Haley Paramore Crush Crush look, as promised. There's loads of people have requested this now, so here we go. I'm going to start with some Beijing shade stick, and we're going to stick it all over our eyes. This is a really, really simple look. As far as I can tell anyway, it's hard to see from the video because she doesn't stand still. But I managed to get a quick look at what I thought. So we're going to just apply it all over the eyelid, right up to your eyebrow. that because she uses colour all the way up as far as I know and remember this is just an inspired look not the I'm not saying I look like her or anything like that okay so I'm just gonna apply this all over our eyelids right up to the crease and then passed up to the eyebrow bone because this whole area is going to be coloured and cover uh, covered in colour I've been thinking and thinking and thinking about different ideas for the competition because so many people have put in, in a request for a certain idea which were asked for there's been some fantastic ones but I think we're going to go for like a fantasy look who can create the best fantasy look and and then we'll take it from there so I'm going to do a video with rules and stuff there's not many so don't worry anybody can um, do a video response anyone can do it anywhere in the world welcome you don't even have to be a subscriber so just whatever you want it's got to be a fantasy themed look so now we're just going to apply some pigment, MAC pigment in its Ada Blue. And we're just applying this all over the eyelid. Going right up. Cover the whole eye area. Right up to your brows. Just paint the whole lot in because she's got blue going right the way up. And then we're going to add a little bit of highlight afterwards, I'll show you where. Just make sure you get this whole area covered. Now I've changed positions slightly so I can show you a little bit because the light's a bit better from this angle. And I can see in this mirror a bit better. So that's what we're going to do anyway, we're going to put the blue all over. Same on the other side. I thought about loads more pet peeves today, <clears throat> so I made a note because I always get on camera and I've got so much to tell you and then it just all completely goes from my mind and because I don't edit much I'd, there'll be massive gaps where I'm, think, I'm saying um, um, so I thought right I'll write them all down and I'll get a video put up about them in, in a couple of days or something don't want to bore you too many we'll talk videos I've got a couple of celebrity looks to do yes and I don't think I should I mean I don't feel like it's, an, it's fair that I should but I got a comment from someone which really annoyed us so from now on I'm going to put the names of the people who've requested them I'm not naming all of them because there's loads but a couple I'll do the names for you and show you who requested certain looks because it really offended us a stupid comment from someone who's absolutely ignorant to what I do but anyway that's not important so you're just going to apply this all over. I'm just going back over and making sure we've got a nice amount of coating to it. It's a nice colour blue. Then once you've got your eyes like that, yes I know, scary. I'm going to apply a little bit of highlight colour. I'm using MAC Pigment in white. Just use the same brush because it's not, it's not very dark. If it was a green or a dark black or brown you would change the brush but most of it's tapped off. I'm just going to apply a little bit just under your eyebrow and blend it so there's not really any harsh lines but however you can see there's a bit of a, a highlight just under can you see so that's what I want to achieve a bit on the other side just enough so it looks like a highlight see I need a little bit more on this side I've got plenty of time a little bit more And now we're going to apply some Black Bean by NYX. It's an eyeshadow, jumbo eyeshadow pencil. And we're going to apply this, just look at the picture, all the way across the eyelid like that. It's quite a thick one this, which is good because it's what we want. Apply this all across the eyelid to there. Once you're there, you take it up. Thin that out a little bit. She's got to go right back to 
to practically where an eyebrow ends. So we're going to have to draw ours in. Unless you've got super long eyebrows, then it's perfect. Once you've got that, do it again on this side. And then have a little bit on underneath. a little way because we're going to blend it once you've done that take any blending brush I'm going to use this little one here it's the Mac 169s and I like this because it's a sponge on a brush kind of thing sponge on a stick and it allows you maximum control of your sponge and it's in smaller form and it's like a smudge there and it really works I like it Elf have got one too, somewhere here. Mm. I know they have got one though. And I know in the US, all of them are $1.50. $1.50, I think everything, every item's $1.50, which is absolutely fantastic when you think about it. Just gonna smudge this along the lower lash line on this side. Now, once you've done that, you're going to take your eyebrow kit and we're going to use Paula Dorf's 2-in-1 for eyebrows brunette and we're just going to apply the wax, which is that, with a stronger brush. There it is. Right, I'm using the e.l.f. one and it is a concealer brush but it works perfect. It's stiff, so it's great for doing this. I'm going to just apply the eyebrows, eyebrow wax all over the eyebrow but bring it down right towards the black because we're going to bring the eyebrow right along. So it kind of looks like you've got super long eyebrows. So I'm just going to draw them in basically. If you haven't got a wax or eyeshadow, use um, a, brow a brow pencil. Either or, it doesn't make any difference. We're going to just apply the light one today because the eyebrows are not that dark. Just dab that in there and just gently pick it through your hair same on the other side might have to darken the end up a little bit and use the darker colour yeah, because I didn't have that colour in my eyebrows to start with, so I've had to really bring it out. Do the same on this side. Now, once you've done that, we're going to apply our mascara. I've only got to hand me Jaw Show, which I'm not completely keen on because look at the size of that. I mean, I like a big brush, but that's taking the makeup a bit. So you end up coating all of your eyelid in, the, in it if you're not careful. So I just tip my head back so as not to catch the skin. Give it a bit of a wiggle. It's got an awful smell as well. I've got mascara on my nose. And there you have it. The Haley Paramore Crush Crush Makeup Look. I hope you like it. Zoom zoom.